Moving on, the elders and indigenous of Amagba community in Orada local government area of Adel State have again cried out to the state government for quick intervention in a communal crisis with the neighboring community of Obagi. This was in the aftermath of series of attacks allegedly perpetrated by Evelyn Ham Tugs from the said community. The recent attacks resulted in the destruction of a residence of the community owned by an indigent where two of the occupants who sustained serious gunshot wounds are now being treated at a hospital. BTV News Uyi Lambert visited the community and filed in this report, which is presented by Best Orator. That's what is saying at the residence in Amagba community, a place popularly referred to as Amagba Phase 2, where it was reported that some gunmen and talks led by a well-known individual from Obagye community attacked the occupants of the house who are indigenous of Amagba. It was alleged that they were already asleep when the talks and gunmen started having gunshots, which penetrated the walls of the house. The pillars damaged the windows, the aluminum doors of the house, and even the roofing structure. Speaking to BTV News, one of the occupants of the house, Mike Owotu, an indigenous of Amagba community who gave a brief narration of the incident, said that the gunmen began shooting sporadically at about 3 a.m. on Monday. He alleged that the talks and gunmen were from the neighboring Obagye community. He also said that four occupants of the house, including himself, sustained injuries, while two with serious gunshot wounds have been hospitalized. Some people started calling my name that I'm inside. They want to uh, take my life today, that this and that. So they started shooting at the door. You can see the environment, the premises full with uh, bullet. So they started shooting. We started, we started calling people to help us to call police. So they shoot, they went and they break the door. The time they break the door, wanted to call me. Said that when the DSS, which is the special force, came in. They run, now run away. Also, BTV News crew paid an investigative visit to the two seriously injured indigents of Amagba at the hospital where they were still undergoing treatment from severe gunshots. Speaking to our news crew, the two young men, one a plumber, confirmed the first account of the young man, Michael Owotu, and added that their leg dogs and gunmen attacked twice, first on Friday night and later almost at the same time on Monday morning. Because I'm a plumber, I don't get work. That is so that very day. I just I call my friend, please may I go do what that is this is my friend. May I call the ass. We got a year go short. What is called the apple? Before you know. Then I you break the door. Then I sat up the street, everybody made the ass. Then go to DSS, they are right. They were shooting when they had the middle of us standing jury. Before the DSS came and they left. They moved back. They came back this week. That, that was on Sunday, breaking on Monday. Around that can, let me just say that can, the same, almost the same time, two o'clock. They about two or about two to three, they came back and started shooting. They were many. They were them. They said they even confused. They start shooting. They only had any without mind. They bought their own person and everything. Subsequently, some elders of Amagba community corroborated and confirmed the incidents of the gun attack as authentic. The elders, Pa Imadom Yi and Pa Ibnedion, both stated that the attack by the gunmen and talks have left many of them to scamper for safety and even run away from their homes. They therefore pleaded with the Edo State government to promptly intervene as they have no one else to cry to. <laughs> Ordinarily, we, we are the side of the government. There is a, 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 an undertaking between Amagba here and the, the Obagi. Obagi didn't want to be part of the, you know, uh, the, the government and the law. They, they continue to attack us, and uh, we are now begging His Excellency, the Governor of Edo State, and his team, or the task force he set up recently, to be on the look 
at this place. At the time of this report, the police is yet to comment on the issue while the accused persons from Obagye community are yet to react to the allegations. Communal land conflicts and issues have been a lingering problem in Edo State. Best Orator reporting for BTV News.